Welcome to Energy Air Force. In this section, you will train to acquire your license and take the certification test. You must pass four certification tests in order to take part in actual fighting. First, aim for the standard fighter license of F-16 Fighting Falcon. Welcome to the training simulator. Now you'll learn the basic flight skills to pilot your craft. Ascent, descent, and turns. First, you'll practice your ascent. Fly so that you're... Next, switch over to level flight. Slowly return the stick and level off to hold the gates Next, you'll practice your descent Push forward slowly on the stick and fly to pass through the gate center Next, switch over to level flight Slowly return Next, you'll turn to the left Drop the stick left. Look at the horizon inclination from the cockpit view to judge. Maintain your inclination. Start at bearing 0 9 or 0 and turn. As you approach 0 9 or 0, return your craft to a level in. When you return to be maintain your inclination and finally you'll level off. As you approach 0 9 or 0, fly through the final gate to end training. Fly through the center of the gates for pilot training. Gates appear in relation to the ideal flight time. Speed greatly affects the trajectory of your craft. Therefore, you'll miss the gates if your speed differs Learn the skills for controlling your craft. Now practice leveling, ascent and descent, and turns. First, you'll practice your ascent. Fly so that your craft passes through the... 
the gate center. Pull back slowly on the stick to ascend. Return the stick slowly to level off your craft. View the HUD to determine whether or not your craft is level. This displays the vector of your craft. This displays the horizon line. When these two have lined up, it means that your craft is flying level. Next, you'll practice your descent. Push forward slowly on the stick and fly to pass through the gate center. Return the stick slowly to level off your craft. Next, you'll turn to the left. Drop the stick left and come to an 80 degree inclination. Maintain your inclination and pull back on the stick to fly through the gate center. You have established a new record. Welcome to the training simulator. Now you'll practice taxiing and takeoff. There is a yellow line in the center of your taxiing path. The key to taxiing is to keep the center of your craft over this. Move forward by raising engine output a notch. Put on the brakes when you want to slow down or stop. Follow the gates and follow the strip to the left. Turn right with a right rudder and left with a left. Turn right and approach the runway. The stretch ahead of you is the runway. Move on to the runway and the line in your path will change from yellow to a white. Keep the center of your craft over this dotted line. Bring engine output up to the max and accelerate. When you reach 150 knots, pull back slowly on the stick. Bring the nose up and take off. Retract gears when you have completely cleared the ground. Ascend so your craft passes through the gate center. Fly through the final gate to end training. Alright then, taxi training commences. Move forward by raising engine output a notch. Put on the brakes when you want to slow down or stop. Follow the gates 
and follow the strip to the left at the first bend. Turn right with a right rudder and left with a left. There is a yellow line in the center of your taxiing path. The key to taxiing is to keep the center of your craft over this line. Turn right and approach the runway. The stretch ahead of you is the runway. Move on to the runway and the line in your path will change from yellow to a white dotted line. Keep the center of your craft over this dotted line. Now bring up your speed and lift off. Line up your craft with a white dotted line on the ground and bring it parallel with the runway. Bring engine output up to the max and accelerate. When you reach 150 knots, pull back slowly on the stick. Bring the nose up and take off. Altitude. Retract gears when you have completely cleared the ground. Ascend so your craft passes through the gate center. Ascend to 2,000 feet. Level off your craft and proceed with the craft level. Training completed. You made it. What can I say? You have established a new record. Welcome to the training simulator. Now you'll practice landing. Landing is the most important and difficult flight skill. Practice until it's a part of you. Begin in the final approach position with a runway before you. Brake and drop speed to 300 knots. A beam will appear in the lower right of the HUD display when the brakes are on. Drop your speed to below 300 knots. Drop the gears and prepare to land. HUD shows a G in the lower right when gears are down. HUD switches into ILS when gears are down for runway approach. Keep the vertical line lined up with the runway and slowly lower speed in line with the gate. You are approaching the runway. Hold it between 150 and 160 knots this time. Stay in position and land on the runway. Slowly drop altitude and speed and descend to 110 feet. Don't forget to keep the nose up a bit when landing. Keeping the nose up makes the craft act as an air brake and works to drop your speed.
drop speed and bring the nose gear down. Brake and reduce speed to zero. Control the rudders and keep your craft on the runway until you have come to a complete stop. Bring your craft to a complete stop to end training. Alright then, landing training commences. Brake and drop speed to 300 knots. Drop your speed to below 300 knots. Drop the gears and prepare to land. Drop gears for HUD and ILS. Keep the vertical line lined up with the runway and slowly lower speed in line with the gate. Drop your speed as you approach the runway. 150 to 160 knots is your target. During your descent to the runway, lift the nose and reduce speed. Then hit the runway main gears first. Control your craft with the rudders to stay. Training completed. You made it. What can I say? You have established a new record. Welcome to the training simulator. I'll explain about the basic pilot training test. You will taxi and lift off. Circle home base once and land again at home base. First, increase engine up. There is a yellow line in the center of your taxi. The key to taxiing is to keep the center. Follow the gates. Turn right with a... Turn right. The stretch ahead. Move on to the runway and the line in your... Keep the center of your... Bring engine output. When you reach one... Retract gear. Ascend. So you're... Next, you'll turn to the... Drop the stick left. Maintain your inclination and... Turn from bearing one... Now, you'll turn left. Drop the stick left. Bring your... Climb level. In order to... You should see home base below to the left. Now you'll turn left again. Drop the stick left. Bring your inclination. Finally, turn left from bearing. Two. You should see home base from a. Now brake and drop speed. Drop your speed. You are approaching the runway. Stay in. Slowly drop. Don't forget to keep the nose up a bit. Keeping the nose up makes the craft act as an air brake. Bring engine output into idle when the main gears touch down. Drop speed and bring the nose. Brake and reduce speed. Control the rudders and keep your craft on the run. Bring your craft to a complete stop to end train. Alright then, the first training test commences. You will taxi and lift off. Circle home base once and land again at home base. This time, there will be no explanation during. You'll be alright 
if you pilot your craft through the gate centers in your flight path. Use what you've learned in training to clear them. Thank <laughs> you.
training completed. You made it. What can I say? You have established a new record.